Welcome to BCH Technologies. Today we're going to make a sponge refillable cartridge for HP. For regular or starter HP cartridges, HP uses a really small sponge, and you can see here. So in this video, our goal is uh, remove this little sponge and replace it with a larger one, so it, ha it can hold more ink. Let's go over what you need. You need a, a mod kit by go to bchtechnologies.com and go to mod kit and for HP and uh, scroll down and uh, you can find a sponge mod kit. Other things you will need are sandpaper, a heavy duty utility knife, some rubber bands, a super glue, and uh, a long nose plier. For the ink, we suggest KD600X, which you go to bchtechnologies.com, go to refill ink, refill ink for HP, and uh, on the left hand, you're going to see a filter, and uh, you click 600 ml, that's the total amount of ink, and then you scroll down and find a four color ink and uh, it has a three black ink and uh, uh, CMY there are, there's a lot lots of ink uh, first thing we do is get the cartridge protected so we use a piece of uh, tape the sticky part towards us and the non-sticky part towards the cartridge. So the cartridge printhead will not get in contact with glue. So then we get a second piece of tape and uh, place it on the top of the cartridge and uh, press it down. Then we get a third piece of tape and uh, put it on the electronic ribbon. The third piece is uh, in case there's some uh, super glue uh, drip down and we don't want the super glue get on the electronic tape. And then if you want you can you can sort of like bend the tape little and uh, make a little tab so it will be easier for you to remove it. You can just pull it and remove it. Once the border is open, we'll work on the other sides. Once all the edges are loosened, the cap can be taken off and expose the sponge inside. The next step is not very hard, but uh, it requires lots of patience. So HP cartridge have uh, internal walls to limit the uh, cartridge capacity. So we'll use a long plier to remove the barrier. So by doing so, we'll increase the cartridge ink capacity to the XL level. So we we'll remove the sponge first. Then we we'll use a long nose plier, break the wall down piece by piece. Do it very carefully. Do not damage the filter underneath. This is what the final result look like, and you don't really need to remove all the walls. 
but uh, just make sure when you press the sponge down, the sponge can touch the filter. Now we do the same thing for the color ones. Step one, get the cartridge protected. Step two, cutting. So for the color one, we need to get rid of those four walls. In the next step, we'll use a 150 grade sandpaper to sand the top of the cartridge evenly and smoothly. We'll then use a knife to remove the high-end debris. We'll now wipe or blow out the debris from the cartridge, and then we just put the cartridge under running water and, and clean it. You can use regular tap water to do it. And after that, um, the, after the cutter is clean, we can insert a sponge and the press it all the way down. Uh, we don't need to glue it airtight, so uh, we'll just put a little bit of super glue and uh, secure the top. For the colors, one of the sponges is a little bit larger than the other two. So that larger one is is going to be on the top. We'll now inject ink. We're going to push the needle halfway down uh, into the sponge and then pull it out a little bit so we can release ink. Uh, do, not, do not press it down too hard so the needle may penetrate the, the filter underneath. So um, we just keep injecting ink until we can see the color com comes up. We'll do the same for the color one. Now we can take the protective uh, tape off. And now we're going to show you how to do unclogging. If you have a printer that's working, uh, which I mean is printing, but uh, the printout is uh, blank or the printout is striped, that means it's clogged and uh, which means you have air bubble underneath. So if you have a, a priming uh, clip, you can just do like this, put it on the clip, and uh, draw some uh, ink from the bottom. The air, uh, the air bubbles will be drawn out, uh, with, uh, with uh, ink. And I know not everybody has uh, a priming uh, clip. Uh, if you don't have one, let me show you an alternative. So you get a piece of paper towel, 
and the white paper towel with some water. And then get a vacuum cleaner and suck underneath. Once it's uncovered, you're going to see um, lots of ink coming out. Now we can put it in the printer and for for test speed. Uh, you can see the first printout is still clogged. So what we did is uh, we used the printer's building function to clean it what, twice. After we cleaned it twice, we take it out and we use vacuum to suck it a little bit more. And eventually, we get this thing working. <laughs> Your refill cartridge will not show a uh, real ink level, so uh, it will show the old ink level, uh, like the black one, or it will show no ink at all. So just ignore all the warnings about the low ink level or cartridge uh, ink depleted. Whenever you, uh, you see an error window pops up, just click OK, and it will dismiss the message and keep printing. So you're OK as long as uh, this uh, uh, this ink indicator light is now flashing. When it has flashing, uh, a, there's something wrong with your uh, cartridge. Maybe, um, uh, maybe you uh, uh, broke the filter, or maybe there are something simple as uh, there's some ink splash in on the ribbon, so you need a wipe it will wipe it dry. So take the cartridge out and reinsert a couple times. If it, uh, if this light is still flashing, then the cartridge is permanently damaged. Since the ink level indicator is no longer working for us, so uh, we just need to keep an eye on the printout quality. So if I see a printout is missing a color, or we see stripes, and so so we know the ink run out, we just need to add more ink. And let me show you how this works in real life. So we print more black pages. Now we use up all the black and use up all the color. So the printer thinks there's no ink in the cartridge, but I click OK when it's a low ink, so I just keep printing. And we're going to put a, <clears throat> a green separator for every 50 pages printed. And uh, I can show you how many pages can print with this refilled cartridge. Uh, this will print more than regular HP uh, because uh, we use a larger sponge than the regular sponge. Okay, now you can see the colors run out. So we went back and check uh, what, at what time the cars run out. So we print out the 269 pages. So next thing we do is so we can take the cartridge out and add the ink back in and uh, do some unclogging if necessary, then we will be back printing.